Coming up on Look Today, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik was in Glens Falls yesterday as she continues to put the letter A in the STEM initiative. I've got details. And the Saratoga and North Creek Railroad will offer more trips and a new dining car. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well in tonight's program, I sit down with Kevin Myers. He's the executive chef at Gaffney's in Saratoga and we try some chowder in anticipation of Chowderfest. And we talk with Heather Hicklin. She's the director of the World Awareness Children's Museum in Glens Falls. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties. But first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik was in the area yesterday visiting three local businesses. As we reported, Stefanik toured the Hyde Collection Art Museum, and part of the tour featured educational programs for children offered by the museum. Well, Stefanik praised these programs and discussed a bill that was enacted in 2015. Now, the STEM Caucus is a group of Congress members that advocate the incorporation of arts into the STEM initiative. Now, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Supporters of the concept have said that the arts teach creativity and ingenuity necessary to make scientific and technological advances. Well, in 2014, the World Awareness Children's Museum in Glens Falls already incorporated the STEAM concept into its exhibits and programming. Now, we recently had Heather Hickland on for an interview. She's the director of the World Awareness Children's Museum, and we are going to rerun that interview later in this program. Well, changing from news to weather, after a brief warm-up in the area compared to the frigid temperatures we saw last week, let's see how the rest of this week is shaping up. For the latest, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, General Electric in Fort Edward is hosting a job fair for the employees that have been laid off due to the plant closing. Two years ago, GE announced that it was transferring capacitor manufacturing operations from Fort Edward to Clearwater, a move that affects about 184 workers. GE has offered workers positions in Florida or a chance to explore other job opportunities within the company. Employees who have chosen not to transfer have been offered benefit packages in helping them pursue other employment. GE will be hosting job fairs to aid as well. Here's what they had to say. I think it's great. It's unfortunate that we have to be here, but under the circumstances, you know, this is a great start. Now this job fair is exclusively for 184 GE employees coming out of the Fort Edward plant. It is not open to the public and we wish everyone the best of luck. In other news, Saratoga and North Creek Railroad are making some delicious changes. The railroad plans to bring new dining and lounge cars to try to increase ridership on the tourist train. The company will offer dinner, brunch, and lunch train trips with much of the food and beverages offered by local suppliers. Now, they will also offer more dining options for a total of 94 dining trips between Saratoga Springs and Thurman Station. This represents an increase of over 15 offered last year. The company has seen lower than anticipated ridership numbers, though the Polar Express holiday trips have done well this year. Saratoga North Creek Railroad's canceled snow train trips for skiers this winter between Saratoga and North Creek due to ridership numbers. Well, also in the news, on Monday, a group of state legislators unveiled a report on the heroin crisis in New York State. Legislators held a series of forums and hearings across the state in 2015, and Monday, state capitol, they held a press conference to announce their findings and proposals to curb the heroin problem in New York. Well, members of the Assembly Minority Task Force on Heroin Addiction and Community Response issued the Heroin Epidemic. Now, this is a report on heroin use, treatment, prevention, and education efforts in New York State. 
The report provides insight into the economic and emotional havoc heroin addiction wreaks on families and the community. It also describes the task force recommended solutions. Now, heroin addiction is a problem that must be attacked from multiple angles in detail from every perspective. For example, hospitals, law enforcement, school, and parents must be equipped with the tools they need to prevent addiction. And for those who have already become addicted, it is imperative that professionals dealing with detoxification, rehabilitation, and recovery have the ability to communicate with one another in order to provide each patient with the long-term therapy and help they desperately need. And we are going to continue to update you and get more involved in this topic in the future. Well, coming up next, I sit down with Kevin Myers. He's the executive chef at Gaffney's in Saratoga to try some chowder in anticipation of Chowderfest. Plus, I also sit down with Heather Hicklin. She's the director of the World Awareness Children's Museum in Glens Falls. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.